What is going on guys, Reflex here, and today we got some awesome Kingdom Hearts 3 news, and it's even more awesome if you enjoy completing games like I do. So if you do, this is really cool information for you. Let's go into the article to discuss all the information. So the article says, while discussing the various features and gameplay elements found in Kingdom Hearts 3, it was confirmed that there will be a hidden Mickey mini game where players will be rewarded for finding the hidden Mickey Mouse emblems placed throughout the game. Then it goes on to say, during the stream, it was also confirmed that the main world bosses within Kingdom Hearts 3 will not be revealed before the game's launch, leaving Kingdom Hearts fans with plenty of surprises to expect when playing through Kingdom Hearts 3. But honestly, hearing that information eases my mind along with many people because there was a lot of people that were saying that they felt that they were showing off a little bit too much, but with that information right there, it pretty much tells you that, yeah, they might be showing off a lot, but they're not going to show off anything that has to do with, like, you know, the main bosses or stuff. So there, it's going to be a lot of, you know, stuff to look forward to and surprises when you're playing through the game. Now, as for this Hidden Mickey mini game, it sounds very fun, to be quite honest, because it sounds like it's going to take a lot of exploring. And if you add this to the Remy mini game with the uh, various ingredients we have to find as well, that's two mini games where we're gonna have to explore to find these things, which is just awesome. And there's actually examples of these two hidden Mickeys, and I think it was during the live developer playthrough, and they were doing, you know, just playing around, but they showed off in the background right now, as you guys can see on your screen, there is a hidden Mickey in the toy box world. It's right there, just like in plain sight, but I do feel like it'll be easy to miss when you're just playing it. But yeah, shout out to Tuminator for this screenshot, but when he was facing the Rock Titan boss, and I, I think it was at the K3 premiere event, He's seen this, and I wonder if he spotted it immediately, but yeah, there was this hidden Mickey emblem right there, just like hanging from a tree. Which, yes, from the screenshot, it seems like it'd be easy to spot, but I feel like it'd be tons harder to spot while you're actually playing through it. But my question is, how many hidden Mickeys will be in each world? Is it just going to be one in each world, or may it be like five in each world, and they get harder to spot as it goes? I mean, there's a lot of ways they could do this, but honestly, I feel like there is going to be at least maybe three Mickey mouse emblems like in each world but i could be wrong it could be just one i feel like it's going to be a lot more difficult to spot these emblems probably like the further on you go into the game but let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts are you excited for this or are you not too interested into the completion aspect of the game because personally i'm excited because i always like completing games and when it comes to kingdom hearts you know trying to find everything like and when they added into the final mix they added those crowns to get that was pretty awesome because back then there wasn't really much i mean there was still completion things to do but they didn't have that part in so when they added that part in i was pretty happy hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did leave a like subscribe and as always i will see you guys later